Welcome to Center for Online Education. Friends, on the series of research methodology, today we are going to discuss an other important topic that is ICT and its application in research. As you will know that by the invent of ICT, there is a very helpful things which we have got in our research work. The ICT has explored the various dimensions in which a researcher can explore the knowledge from sitting at a place and going all through the world. Let us explore that how the ICT is helping. Application of ICT in research. The application of information and communication technology in research has revolutionized the way investigation are conducted and knowledge is advanced across various fields. Means it has revolutionized the activity because by sitting at a place a researcher can explore the various dimension of his research by the help of his system computers. So it has given a wide platform to the researcher by which he can explore and conduct his research activity. Information and communication technology tool has become indispensable means it cannot be replaced in the data collection, analysis and dissemination means whenever we are going to collect our data it is the use of ICT which has helped us a lot. When we are going to process our data ICT is helping. When we are going to process and analyze our data ICT is going to help you. In all the statistical tools can easily be applicable by the help of ICT. Now what is ICT? What is information, communication and technology? As you all know that it has been composed of three words, information, communication and technology. Information means the data which is being highly useful for the research. Now this data is to be communicated to the person who is needed for that data. That is known as the communication medium. And how you are going to communicate it? You are going to communicate it by the help of technology. Therefore, this term come into existence that information is being communicated by the help of technology. ICT stands for information and communication technology. It refers to the diverse set of the technologies and the tools that are used to manage, process, transmit and exchange information. Means here it is a tool which is being used to manage. Means the data which you are going to take, the review of literature which you are going to do, how you are going to manage it for your research work, then the processes you are going to adopt and the transmitting of this knowledge. You are making a questionnaire and you are sending it to the respondent. Respondents are filling this questionnaire and sending back to you. Means transmission, a communication process has been taken place between a researcher and the respondent. Right? Then and exchange information means after your research work, after the completion of your research work, you are going to write research paper, you are going to present your thesis in a book form and this is being uploaded in the various e-mode and which is being helpful for the future researchers. Now here ICT encompasses means ICT is composed of both hardware and software components as well as the network and systems that enables communication and data manipulation means it is a set of communication system which has got both hardware and the software. Why? Without the hardware, software cannot work. So hardware is also a very important communication. Hardware is a very important component for the research, for the ICT. So it is very important over here for the proper communication system, both hardware and software is being needed. Now, Information and communication technology is a holistic term associated with all communication devices such as televisions, cellular phones, computers and network hardwares and softwares as well as the various services and applications associated with them. Means ICT is a holistic term which is being used for all the medium which is being used to communicate the information. Whether it is a television, whether it is a cellular phone, whether it is a computer system, you have to take everything for ICT because all these forms are communicating information from one form to another form. 
it is giving a vital information it is transmitting the data from one form to another form from a researcher to the person who are going to use it therefore it is said that information communication technology is a holistic term now what is the use of ICT in research that is very important now let's explore one by one ICT plays an integral role in the research area by identification of research topic on available online platform if you are going to conduct a research on a specific area the first thing you are going to do is that you have to identify the topic how you are going to identify your topic if you are working in social science if you are working in science if you are working in commerce management any other field you have to first go to the online platform and put your topic on that specific bar then you are going to explore the things if you are going to do research on yoga you have to put yoga and the different usefulness of yoga in the health so this is how you are going to identify the research topic in the second point it it helps in the review of available literature review of literature can easily be done by the help of ict there is a vast database by which you are going to take out your own data you can say that if you are going to conduct a research in it companies then you will see that how many work in the past is being conducted in that specific area by the help of ict then helping to get in touch with the subject matter experts to the respective field there are different websites there are different sites you can find the emails of the expert these experts are going to help you you are going to mail them that i am conducting a research on this topic sir how i am going to progress how i can explore so they are going to give you a uh, specific guidelines they are going to guide you so by the help of ict you are going to get the specific guide of uh, experts who are in this field then choosing the right method of research there are numerous methods by which you can conduct research whether it is an exploratory study whether it is a descriptive study scientific study analytical study or it is an hypothetical study you can choose your right method by the help of ict it can tell you that if your objective is this that which type of method you can use for your research work effective data collection and summarizing as you all know in the past when there is no ict it is very difficult for a researcher to collect the data and process the data now with the invent of ict the work of data collection is being very simple you can make your questionnaire you can give that questionnaire in by the help of email whatsapp different media people are going to fill that and send back you the same now you have got an excel sheet where you are going to keep the data and you are going to summarize the data so by the help of ict effective data collection and summarizing of data has facilitated now next one sharing information among the desired stakeholders so after conducting your research after finishing your research work you can give the valuable information of your suggestions of your conclusions of your findings to your stakeholders as desired by them you can write the research paper and publish it you can write your book and publish it so by the help of ict the information of the desired things are going to be got by the stakeholders now assessing multiple database for needed data sets as per requirement by the help of ict you can have multiple delegates you can use statistical tools which have got the different skills so ict has helped the researcher in assessing in analyzing in interpreting data which is known as a big data into a simple form now we are going to see application of ict in research it is very important we are talking about ict as you know by the invent of ai 
artificial intelligence and ml machine languages the research work has been simplified now when we talk about ict we are going to divide this into three specific area now the ict and its use in research before means application of ict before data analysis now before data analysis means that here you are going to select your topic first thing second thing you have to go and do the review of literature third thing on the basis of review of literature you are going to get the research gap on the basis of research gap you are going to write your objectives and on the basis of objectives you are going to frame your hypothesis and on the basis of that hypothesis and objectives you are going to frame your questionnaire so up till here we are going to do an application of ict by the help of ict before the research work then application of ict during data analysis now what you have done you have made your questionnaire now here during the data means here you are going to make your questionnaire and distribute your questionnaire to the respondents the respondents are the people who are directly related with the research work if you are conducting a research in it companies then your respondent will be the people who are working in it companies if your research is based on banking then your respondent will be the personnel who are working in the banking area and then too if you have got a area of study then the respondent will be in the area of the study right so here the application of ict during data analysis is this that you are going to send the questionnaire and you are getting back the responses after getting the responses you are going to purify your data means you are going to manage your data you are going to analyze your data by the help of different statistical tools there are different software like spss with which you can easily solve your data big data can easily be managed by the help of spss there are different versions of spss which you can use so by the help of spss if you are applying correlation chi square t test any test you are applying you can get the exact value now application of ict after data analysis means after data analysis how you are going to apply the ict now you are going to get your findings because you have analyzed your data after findings you are going to conclude your study and after conclusion you are giving suggesting certain points now this suggestion is very important why because this suggestion is the core of your research work what you have done so these suggestions must be properly communicated to the stakeholders right so by the help of ict we can explore the different communication medium and provide this communication information to the stakeholders right so application of ict in research can be divided into three parts that is before the data analysis in the data analysis and after the data analysis now open educational resources this is very important why because we have talked about the different terms just like copyrights trademarks so this has affected the research work because whatever has got a copyright no one can use that word so open educational resources are a very useful platform by which the researcher can take the matter and use for his own research work open educational resources also known as oer are teaching and learning material that you may freely use means you can use it you can reuse it and reuse at no cost and without needing to ask for permission means here there is no need of permission from the writer the person who has originally done the work unlike traditional copyrighted resources oer has been authored or created by an individual or organization that chooses to allow for reuse 
and adaptation of their work means whatever work is being made under open educational resources oer is being openly accessed by anyone he can use the work and may contribute in the development of that specific objective right so here open oer licenses it is very important now oer licenses has got five points first one is retain the right to maintain your own copies of a work means here whatever work you are going to do you are going to retain it means what no one can use it you yourself is maintaining your own copy so it is known as retaining the work the second one is reuse the right to use a work in multiple different ways means there is a different ways by which the researcher can use the work which is being done in the past revise the right to modify the work to suit your needs means here you have got the license that you can revise the work as needed by your own study then remix the right to combine the work with other content means you are taking the work of two persons and you are remixing it you are mixing some you are taking some content of that matter first matter you are taking some content of second matter and you are mixing it and delivering it in your own research work so here remix is also being allowed then the last one is redistribute the right to share copies of the work means including the revision remixing of your own then means here the fifth form is redistribute it means what you have done your work you can share that information to the different stakeholders who need it so oer license has been defined into these five parameters retain means you keep your own work reuse or you can give the work and reuse the work of other revise means you can make certain changes on that work and use it remix means you are taking the work of two three four authors and you are mixing it and using it for your own work and then redistribute means after that you are distributing that information to the stakeholders who need that information so these are the five points on which oer license depends now creative common open license it is most talked about why because here you can see it is least free it is most free means this model which is being in public domain is free of cost there is no fee for that you can use it but if you go over here you can say it is not oer it is least free means no one can use you can just read it but you cannot use it there are certain terms which we are going to talk over here the first one is cc that is known as creative commons this is known as cc this is the first terminology the second terminology is nc non commercial means when the work is nc you can use the work but you cannot earn from that work it is not commercialized you cannot earn anything from that work then you have got nd not dervish means here whenever in license nd is being mentioned you are not going to make any change because it is being written no derivatives you cannot make any changes and whenever you are taking this work you have to give the name of the author the person who has done the work you have to give the name you have to give the proper recognition to the person who has done the work and you have to quote that this work is been done by that person but here you cannot reuse it you cannot commercialize it you cannot make change you cannot distribute that activity so this to r least or not oer it is been given in red but when you go upside you can say it is most free means this is by by sa 
this is BYNC, BYNC SA means it can be used by any person, it can be reused, it can be redistributed, it can be remixed, right? So, whenever you have got this license, CC, BY, SA, SA stands for share alike, share alike. SA and NC, you are going to say that this is creative like commons means it can be used by the person who is using it, share alike to a person who are working in that specific field and non-commercialized make no money can be made by that work. If the license says that CC, BY, SA, you can use this work and commercialize it also. You can get money, you can earn money from that work because here NC is not being mentioned. So, these are the methods, these are the license, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 ways of license which being published today in each book, in each paper, everything, where if you find this license, you can use the work, if you find this license, you cannot reuse the work. So, Creative Commons is very important. So, I think you have understood that what is the use of ICT in the present research. With the invent of AI, now the researchers are finding very easy in their analysis portion. I hope this lecture has helped you to understand more about ICT and research. Thank you.